As a kid playing TF2, I thought it would be so cool if I could just imagine a hat and have that hat put into the game. Knowing myself back then, I probably would have made something overly edgy or cringy, but nevertheless, the thought of it was so exciting. What hat would you want to be in the game? No, seriously, I'm, <laughs> I'm asking you. In this new series I'm trying, I'll be taking your hat suggestions and turning them into real TF2 hats inside the game. Leave your comments and upvote other ideas that you think are good ideas, or better still, draw a concept and send it to me on Twitter, and I might pick it to be created in the next video. I'm using student versions of software at the moment, so these hats will only be available as mods, and won't be allowed to put into the actual crates for monetary gain. But if this series is successful enough, I will buy licenses for the software, and if it gets put into a crate, me and you could split the commissions and get the community sparkle effect which you get from being the creator of an item. In this video, I'll be making a super simple cosmetic just to test out the pipeline and to make sure I know what Valve is looking for when adding hats into the game. So what does Valve want from a hat? What are the guidelines? First of all, hats should maintain the personality of the character, for example Heavy's boxing gloves or Scout's batter's helmet. There should be generally realistic proportions with slight exaggerations to emphasise certain areas. You should avoid fine surface details, no scales, skin pores or fabric textures. They say to look at the giant size of the TF2 character's hands and imagine what they could build. Use flat colours that are close to the TF2 colour family that the base game uses, and to use a subtle vertical gradient and subtle ambient occlusion layers multiplied over the colours. And then there's some technical stuff that includes texture sizes being at 256 by 256 and the polygon count should be under 1000. 700 at the highest level of detail, 500 at the medium, and 350 at the lowest. The level of detail is the amount of detail that an item has depending on the polygon count, which changes depending on how close you are to the asset. Valve also mentions that these rules can be bent a bit, which is kind of obvious with new items that have come out recently, if a submission is too awesome not to include apparently. Okay, let's get into it. I decided I wanted to make a summer visor for Demo Man, as it's simple for a first attempt, but also has the potential to look quite decent and interesting. I found some reference images online of what I wanted it to look like, downloaded the Demo Man's head from the item creation website so I could model the hat to scale, and began to poly model the main shape. Polymodeling is a modeling technique where you start with a cube and manipulate the edges and faces to turn it into a more complex shape. Check out my video of recreating the pyro if you want to learn more about the modeling process. You can see that this is kind of clipping through the head. I'm not sure how much clipping matters in this process, um, but I'm going to try and make it a bit less obvious at least because it just doesn't look very nice. Again, this is super simple just to learn how getting stuff into TF2 works because I've never done it before. Because this was months ago, I've also learned so much since this too, so future hats will be significantly better. I then added a few more polys and used a sculpting tool to make it a bit smoother and adjust the frame. I mirrored the frame over to the other side to be symmetrical before adding a new cube and stretched it out and polymodeled it a bit to make the transparent part of the visor. Okay, here we go, we've got the visor and the frame down, it's looking okay. This is a final set of cubes to model the nose rest that protrudes down from the frame and smoothed out the mesh to fit the TF2 style a bit more. The model ended up with around 550 polygons, which is less than the cap, but I went back and cleaned up the model again just to make the model as low poly and as optimised as possible. This meant that I didn't have to care about the level of details, and I could just have one model that wouldn't change depending on how far away from it you are. Okay, so right now this is what we've got for the model. Just simple glasses, not too much of anything. We're going to add some textures now, and I think it might be a bit difficult because I'm not sure how transparency works, and I'm also not sure how um, ambient occlusion layers multiplied over the colors works because i've never done that before i'll see you in the texturing stage and hopefully i can work it out before we get into texturing i just wanted to promote the winter charity stream hosted by tf connect this weekend for competitive matches community content and much more donations are open now and you can even donate with tf2 items this event benefits special effect which gives children with specific needs the opportunity to enjoy and engage with video games when they need it most. It gives kids in the hospital with serious medical conditions a chance to play games and have fun, and I hope to see you there. TF Connect is doing an amazing job like always. So for texturing I used Substance Painter. I added a black matte colour for the visor's arms and rim, and a subtle normal map to add texture. I then added the TF2 logo on the front as a motif. TF2 hats are extremely low resolution so it looks pixelated, but from a distance it's fine. To finish the motif I added a couple of lines and dots to help it stand out a little more, and that's it for the arms and rims. I then added a pink layer with opacity to the visor glass, added a subtle gradient to a darker shade as the official guide suggested, which worked quite nicely, before doing the same thing for a highlight at the upper middle part of the visor. I then used Blender to rig the hat onto the demo man's skeleton so the hat would track the demo man in game. It was pretty simple but I'd never used Blender before so it was extremely strange and then I ported it from there to a source file that can then be read by the source engine. Now that was all fairly easy but how the item appeared in game had a few bugs and I spent quite a bit of my free time over the course of a couple of weeks trying to fix it. It's not that arduous of a task, but I had so little time. My friend Shork introduced me to Mark Unread, who's worked on many TF2 items before that have actually made it into the game, and they helped me to troubleshoot, so a massive thank you to them. So I'm recording this in post, but I'm going to show you 
putting the hat into the game so we can see it in game. Uh, but I also got two cosmetic crates. So if you want to stay to the end, I'm going to unbox them just to see what happens. Okay. Okay. So over here in the bottom, if you go to workshop, you can publish new item. So let's just name it the vanity visor because that's what I wanted to call it. Item hat is hat. Equip region glasses, and then it's for the demo man, and then that's it. Would this be a hat or would it be a misc? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we get the high LED, which get the vanity visor. Then we go to the input for the texture. Then we'll get the base texture, which is just a Photoshop file in this case. We'll make it translucent so we can see through the visor. And we can basically just ignore the rest of this for now. We don't need any of this. And press OK and then preview. There we go. It's in game. So here's what I ended up with. It's really basic and the house that you ask for will be a much higher quality. But let me know what you think in the comments. One thing I couldn't fix was some transparency issues. Some parts of the visor were transparent that shouldn't be, even though they weren't on the actual textures. It was pretty strange. It was a super simple standard cosmetic, so I don't feel too strongly about it. I'm just happy that I got it through the process. I'd rather put my energy into making a better, cooler hat and obsess over this small bug. So remember, if you want to get your hat in game, leave a comment, send me a concept on Twitter, and I'll try and pick the best ones. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this and i'll see you soon okay so let's do this sneaky unboxing <laughs> let's see what i get it's gonna be nothing good but we'll see some festive frames awesome what's in this one okay uh don't know why i did that i could have just got some subway 